Hey guys, welcome to One Mustard Seed Soaps. Thanks so much for tuning in. Wanted to do a quick video to tell you about the difference between tub tea and sea salt soap, which comes in the um, shot glasses. These are about to go up on the website. Um, these are on there, I think some of these are on there right now. I have fresh batches uh, sitting of the salts of both the lavender sea salt soak, so you'll see that on the website coming up, and the love spell. Um, and I have tub teas that are, this is the minty one for muscle relief, and then this is the lavender more for calming, and this I'm in the process of, of making right now. It's got the um, salts in there. I don't know if you can make it out in the bottom there, and then I just put the botanicals in, and that'll sit a while, and I'll package that up. So the difference between the two. Um, first off, the difference is the bath shots. This has way more salt in it and also milks. So the ingredients in here, um, it's got coconut milk, oats, clay, and then it's got um, Dead Sea salt, European salt, Himalayan bath salt, um, and then the oats and stuff I already mentioned, and then the botanicals. So fewer botanicals, much more salt, so it's gonna draw the toxins out. Um, while you're soaking and also for some people depending on what your bath habits are and everything um, this is messier because it will the soap the milk and salts will dissolve but the botanicals will float and then um, you've got to wipe down your tub after or I suggest if you don't want to do that if you have save an organza bag that maybe you have lying around you can always pour this in there and drop the bag in there close it real tight and um the, everything will dissolve but the botanicals will stay in the bag if you don't want the mess so that's something that you can use and then um and also so the other one that was the love spell one the victoria's secret love spell um i'm not affiliated but that is the um copycat fragrance oil it smells just like it this one is also Dead Sea Salts. It's got uh, purple Brazilian clay in it in addition to the milks and salts. And um, then this one's got a little bit different botanicals. It's got the lavender in it. So I don't use, um, I use plant-based ba plant milk, coconut milk powder in these because other milks made from dairy products tend to go bad um, and spoil and I did some testing on that and eventually depending on when you are using it they can go bad and actually grow bacteria and I in the research I did was that um, when goat milk is in lotion and different bath and body products it starts growing bacteria very quickly so I honestly I don't know if that research is 100% on point, but once I read that, I was like, I'm just not gonna go there. So my products will not have, um, other than the soap, the soap will, because that, that works differently, but my body products are not gonna have um, dairy type milk powders in them. They will have coconut milk. Um, the plant milk should be fine. Um, and part of that is I don't know the shelf life, how long you're keeping it in your cabinet before you're using it. So if you used it within a month and it had dairy milk in, it'd probably be fine, but um, you never can tell. So anyhow, the bath teas, I'm gonna have two of those. One is gonna be this minty uh, tub tea. And what is in here is, I have all these bags, I'm doing some packaging here but I don't know where the tea bags are. Anyway, it just looks like a regular tea bag. I don't know if you can see underneath the plastic. So it looks like a regular tea bag, which it is. I have placed the botanicals and salts in here, and then I actually have to iron it closed. So this, the mess is contained. This has a lot more botanicals in it and not as much of the salt. It still does have um, the uh, European spa salt, Epsom salt, and then this has essential oils in it. Um, also spearmint leaf, eucalyptus leaf, rosemary leaf, um, fennel seeds, juniper berries, peppermint leaf, and then the salts and essential oils of eucalyptus and rosemary. So this is like, 
If you just like minty stuff or if you want to, you know, soak your muscles and have that great botanical aroma going on, you would just drop this in the tub. I would say after it's mostly full because you don't want this running under the water, um, then the seal can break loose and then the worst that happens is you just have to clean up um, what spills out. Anyway, there's this one. And then this one here in the bowl, which I'm getting ready to, to make. Um, side note, I, I have to put the essential oils or fragrance oil, whatever I'm using on the salts and, and mix it up and keep mixing it every so often during the day for a couple of days so, till they dry. Um, it just takes a while for the oil to dry onto the salts and then I mix it in with the botanicals. So this is just about ready to put into the tea bags. Um, and this one is the essential oil that I used, is the um, doTERRA Serenity. Awesome, amazing oil, one of my very favorites. I rarely go to sleep without putting this on my pillow. I love it. Um, great in the diffuser also, and I thought it would be wonderful in this bath tea for um, some calming, relaxing time, which with everyone home from work, school, whatever, I'm sure everybody can use that. And also, the, um, the botanicals that are in here, you can see them. They definitely have a florally smell. Um, they smell, it just smells like spring. So between the lavender mixing with all of those botanicals, it smells wonderful. So those are gonna be up on the website. Um, hopefully I'll already have them up there by the time I post this video. So anyway, that's the difference between the two things and you can look for some new creative bath products while we're off. I'm trying to do some things I haven't been able to get to. Um, so hopefully you see some new, new things. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a blessed day.